In Java 15, one of the most visible new feature is the introduction of text blocks. This feature has been in preview mode in previous version of JDK. But in uh, Java 15, it's production ready. In this example, I have a HTML string where for each element I'm attaching a line separator. Now, if I run this code, you can see the output in the terminal. Uh, the issue here is that the code is messy and a little bit difficult to read. Another approach to build this kind of string is to use string builder class. That is to append new line in the append function. But still you end up a uh, little hard to read. In Java 15, we can use text blocks whenever we need to deal with the long strings. For example, I'll create a new string variable that I will call HTML string. And I will set its value by starting with three double quotes. And now I paste my format string uh, within the three uh, within these three double quotes. Now I will print this HTML string using system.out.println. Then I will run this code. Now you can see I have, I have created exactly the same kind of text as before, but the code is now a lot more readable and easier to maintain. Here HTML string variable is a type of string class, which means we can do whatever operation that we usually do to a string object. That is if you want to do a case conversion or trimming of white spaces, etc. So now let's uh, say you want to build uh, this HTML string dynamically with values that you get from some data source or by user input. Suppose I have a string message uh, with value uh, hello hello uh, java inside the HTML string uh, inside the HTML string value I will replace the value hello world with dollar uh, s which is the placeholder for string. Now I will use system.format uh, inside it uh, I will uh, add HTML string comma uh, the message. Now if I run this code, you can see the correct output in the terminal. So using this new feature in the code, we can make our code more readable and easier to maintain when we, uh, uh, when we deal with long string values.